Hello everybody, this is Mr. Rob and welcome back to episode number 5 of the Washington football team franchise. You are Madden NFL 22 and today the Washington football team traveled to Atlanta to face the 1-2 Atlanta Falcons. Before we get into this one, we do have a breakout chance today. Our first breakout chance of the season as linebacker Cole Holcomb is feeling pretty good after last week's win against Buffalo. And if we can hold the Falcons to less than 250 yards or get him an important stat, he will increase his development. But it's time to play football here. If you're excited for this one, make sure you drop a like and subscribe down below, especially if you want more franchise content as this Washington offense takes the field first. Here comes Ryan Fitzpatrick, who led Washington to a 30-24 win last week against Buffalo. Four touchdowns, six interceptions on the season. He will take the ball at the 25-yard line in the gun. They're going to throw here on a first down. Fitzpatrick will find Adam Humphreys to the 37-yard line at 12-yard reception to begin their day. Now at the 37, Fitzpatrick quick throw to his right. There is the tight end Logan Thomas, who will get out of bounds after a gain of seven. Now transitioning into a tight pistol formation. They'll go to the ground here with Antonio Gibson, who runs on the right side before being tackled. And there is an injury on the field for Atlanta. It's actually Deion Jones, a pretty big one. He would be okay, though, later in the game. Second and 10, Fitzpatrick rolls to his left, being chased, fires across his body, and finds Sims, but Sims cannot hold on to the football. Nice throw by Fitzpatrick, but it's third and 10 nonetheless. He dumps it off right side. There's an open man, Gibson, but he falls out of bounds, and Washington gets nothing. Here comes Matt Ryan, and a lot of questions about his future, but he's played pretty good so far this year. Eight touchdowns, one interception. They did lose last week 28-21 to the New York Giants, looking to rebound here. First and 10, quick drop. We're going to throw it on first down. That is a catch for the number four overall pick out of Florida. I think Kyle Pitts, who went 6 for 62 a week ago, already has two touchdowns in his rookie campaign. Now we're going to go on the ground to Cordero Patterson, the former Chicago Bear, picks up a gain of five on his first carry. That makes it second and five now. Ryan throws left side, has hits again, doesn't get the first down, but gets it a lot closer. Third and one, they're going to go to the former Panther, Mike Davis, and I don't know if he got it. They're going to say he did. I just could not bring him down in time. First down in Atlanta. Now out to the 44-yard line. Fitz, Ryan, excuse me, is going to throw for it. He's going to throw deep right side. Tries to find Pitts, who had it, but good defensive play to force him out of bounds. Doesn't get two feet in. That's an incomplete pass. And on second and 10, rallying to the football is Washington. They bring down Mike Davis. His defense very good a season ago. And they forced third and 11 early. Ryan takes a drop. We're going to throw it deep right side, and this one is incomplete. Almost caught there at the goal line, but that's a punt by Atlanta. So both teams score us in their very first drive. Here is Terry McLaurin getting involved for the first time. He's about nine. Second and one. Fitzpatrick's going to take a drop. He's actually going to float it out for Gibson. He actually doesn't get there. Might have lost a yard. I'm going to say third and one. And they'll play fake it to Gibson. Going to throw it again. Fitzpatrick deep down the field has Humphreys. What a play action. Defense fooled. And that is a big gain for Washington. Gets him into Atlantic territory. Caught the Falcon defense sleeping. It's now out to the 42-yard line. Handoff to Gibson. Has a whole right side. Cuts it out. And he's got space and plenty of yards to run out to the 16-yard line. A gain of 26 on his second carry. That's two for 29 for Gibson early on. Now in the red zone is Washington. Going to go right back to Gibson. This time doesn't have as much space, but still finds six yards. Nice running by Gibson. Second and four, Fitzpatrick. Quick drop, throws right side. There is Thomas at the first down. It's going to be goal to go Washington. He gets tackled at the one. Bunch to the right. They're going to throw for it here. First and goal. Fitzpatrick rolls to his right. Nobody's over there. Throws it out of bounds. Live to fight another day. Second and goal now from the one. Going to throw for it again. Fitzpatrick dumps it off to Gibson, and he runs out of bounds, loses a yard. Very interesting play calling on the goal line, and now they're going to be going backwards some more. So Washington looks like they're squandering an opportunity down here. False start makes it third and goal from the seven. Fitzpatrick drops those left side, but finds Terry McLaurin in the end zone for a touchdown. And Washington are the first team on the board. Thanks to the touchdown to McLaurin. 
See if the Falcons have any sort of answer. Four minutes to go here in the first quarter. Ryan will try to dump it off. Don't think he got two feet in bounds, but they'll say Davis did. Regardless, it is second and 12 for Atlanta. Ryan, quick throw left side. Nice grab by Pitts. Had a defender draped all over him. Makes it now third and one. They're going to go to Davis on the third and short formation. Gets the first down out to Washington Territory to the 45-yard line. And that'll move the chains. Back to a full house, or excuse me, an eye formation look, and that is a rock of a hit. That is Collins laying down the boom. Going to make it now third and 12. Patterson in at running back. Ryan going to change something at the line. He will take it in the gun. Looks across, deep across the middle. It has a man, but Ridley dropped it. He beat the defender, but good recovery by Curl. Forces the incompletion. Nothing for Atlanta there. And after one quarter, it's 7 to nothing, Washington. Fortunately, Washington wouldn't be able to do anything with the football, so they're just going to punt it right back to Atlanta. And here is Cordero Patterson, the return specialist, who gets it to the 42. That'll be where Atlanta starts in a two tight end formation. Going to hand off to Davis, hole up the middle. That's going to gain about three as it closed quickly. Davis, so far this season, averaging 3.6 yards per carry. Hasn't really gotten going like he did last year in Carolina. Is on second and seven, throw into a lot of bodies. Nobody expecting the football. It's incomplete. Now third and seven. Ryan underneath center, going to throw it short for his man. And he is not going to convert the first down. That is a stop for Washington. Still scoreless is Atlanta. First and ten, throw across the middle. Terry McLaurin, just like that, into Atlanta territory is Washington. Looking to get back in the end zone. Bunch to Fitzpatrick's right. They're going to hand off that way. Nice patience by Gibson to find a hole. That's a gain of 11. Four for 46 for Gibson early. He's made an impact so far. First and 10 is a quick bubble screen to the former Titan, Adam Humphreys. Gains about seven there. Fitzpatrick very efficient here in the early going. Second and three, empty set. Fitzpatrick going to throw it short left. Has Sims first down. Nobody covered him. And he's just going to run forward to the six, making it goal to go again for Washington. Trying to spread the defense out here on first and goal. Fitzpatrick drops. He's actually going to take up and run for it. Slides down at the one-yard line. And I wonder if they're going to learn from the mistakes last time. Yep, they're just going to keep it to the ground. And Gibson, he actually doesn't get there. So now it's third and goal again. Another heavy formation. This time Adrian Peterson in the backfield. It's a toss out to him. And he has the score on the left side. Touchdown, Washington. First rushing touchdown of the season for Peterson and his return to Washington puts him up 14 to nothing. Actually 13 to nothing as the extra point attempt is offline. Hopkins misses short. So I spoke too soon. It's 13 to nothing, Washington. So Atlanta looking for something here on offense. That's not going to help as Ionitis swallows up Davis there for a gain of one. A second nine to go back to Davis again, and this time he actually gets stuffed, and Cole Holcomb was a part of that tackle in the backfield. It is a half tackle for a loss, but Matt doesn't really keep track of those stats, so theoretically in the stat sheet, Holcomb has completed his breakout challenge. 39, though, this is a breakout play for Atlanta. Deep man down the middle, Russell Gage down to the 12-yard line of Atlanta. Beat the safety deep. Collins is a great hitting safety, but he doesn't possess that deep center field speed that other safeties do, and it was on display that time. So now a new set of downs and deep into Washington territory is Atlanta. First play goes for two. Davis on this play will fight forward for another two, and it's now third and six Atlanta. Going to come out in the gun, three wide receivers. Ryan, quick pass out to his right for Davis, and Davis will fight into the end zone for a touchdown. Mike Davis, his fourth touchdown on the season, first receiving touchdown, puts Atlanta on the scoreboard now 13-7. So Washington will see how they can answer here, and it's going to start with a sack. Grady Jarrett with his fourth and a half sack on the season brings Fitzpatrick down. He's putting together a solid start his campaign. Second and 18, Fitzpatrick across the middle. Logan Thomas is going to get the first down. Nobody covered the quarterback converted tight end, and he finds the first down marker. Washington's come out very pass-heavy here in the first half, but they're going to go backwards here. Another false start on the offense. Maybe probably shouldn't go to that hard count as much as it was Antonio Gibson who jumped. 
First and 15 now from the 42 of Atlanta. Fitzpatrick rolls to his right, has green grass in front of him, so he's going to run for it. But he's actually stripped on the play, and the ball is on the ground, picked up by Atlanta. A.J. Terrell with the fumble recovery. It was Jacob Tuiti Mariner who forced it. And Atlanta has the ball with a chance to take the lead going into the half. At the two-minute warning, they're at their own 32-yard line, and there's a quick pass left side for Ridley. Doesn't convert, so on third and inches, Ryan's actually going to throw for it, and he throws it out of bounds. So a very interesting call not to just run it, but now Washington with a chance to put up points of their own before the half. First and 10, there's a pass to Thomas out in the flat. There's about a minute to go, and Washington will use their first timeout. Second and five, Fitzpatrick drops back in the pocket, shades to his right. His man actually, I don't know what that receiver was doing. It was ran right at him. Nonetheless, third and five now, Fitzpatrick in the gun, 65 seconds to go in the half. Tries to throw it across the middle, almost intercepted by Richie Grant. So Washington will punt the football again, both teams not wanting to score, it looks like, before the half. And this will be a beautiful punt, downs it at the three, Tressway pinning them back. But Falcons do have their timeouts. They're now down to one timeout with 43 seconds to go. Deep shot right side, and this one is going to be caught. Absolutely mosses the defender, does sharp, puts it into Washington territory. And just like that, Atlanta is just going to walk away with three as the kick from 42 is up and good. So just like that, it is 13 to 10 going into the first half. Who will come away with the victory? We'll have to find out in the second half. So back from the break, Atlanta starts off with the football. See if they can carry that momentum from the end of the first into this one. First and ten, first pass across the middle is a nine-yard reception by Calvin Ridley. Second and one, Davis to Ryan's right. They're going to fake it to him. Ryan looking for something deep maybe. Stands in the pocket. Time is running out. He's going to go down for a sack. Matthew Ioannidis with the coverage sack on Ryan. Backs him up deep. Now third and 12. For Atlanta, quick pass right side does convert. Nice route by Russell Gage to get open there. And Atlanta will move the sticks on a third and long. Now out to the 38-yard line is Atlanta. Going four wide receivers here. Going to be a handoff to Cordell Patterson. And on his second carry, gains about two. Second and eight now. Two tight ends in the formation for Atlanta. It's a handoff to Davis. Missed the hole. He goes nowhere, but there is a late flag on this play. And they're actually going to get an illegal block in the back against Atlanta. So they're going to be going backwards even more. Make it second and 18. So replay of the down. Ryan in the shotgun. Going to have to throw for it here. His time is running out, but he's going to be sacked quickly. Chase Young around the edge. The former number two overall pick out of Ohio State brings down Matt Ryan. And now it's third and a quarter of the field. Washington playing very reserved. Ryan just going to throw it right side. Almost intercepted. Almost was picked off by Collins to the house. Lucky that went right through his hands. But now Fitzpatrick with a chance. Going to take a deep ball for McLaurin and connects. Terry McLaurin all the way down to the 10-yard line. That was a 50-yard connection down the field. Fitzpatrick, nice pump fake. Connects deep with Terry. And now it's first and 10 from the 10 for Washington. First play almost picked off across the middle. Terrible pass by Fitzpatrick. Second and goal. Handoff to Gibson. Going to play this one more safe. He gets about one. So now it's third and goal for Washington. Fitzpatrick in the gun. Bringing pressure is Atlanta. And they're going to connect on the free rusher. It is Dante Fowler Jr. who brings down Fitzpatrick. So that is three points for Washington. Now a six-point lead. Still just one touchdown. But Chase Young is going to make an impact on the next play as well. Back-to-back -back sacks for Young as he brings down Ryan for a loss of eight. This Washington pass rush starting to get going. Lots of strong defensive linemen. There's a nice counter for Atlanta across the middle. Cordero Patterson will get to the first down yarker and pick it up. So out to their own 47. Matt Ryan back in the shotgun. Going to connect or going to pass for it again. He looks right side. Does connect. With his receiver, he gets out of bounds after seven. Second and three, play fake to Davis now. He runs in the flats, but he finds a man even deeper downfield. Is sharp, and he's going to find his way into the end zone for an Atlanta touchdown. And barring the extra point, Atlanta will take the lead. That was actually Russell Gage, excuse me. So 16-16, now 17-16 Atlanta as they take the lead for the first time this game in the third quarter. 
Washington, do they have some sort of answer? Is Atlanta starting to gain momentum? Here's a second and seven check down to Humphreys, who will race forward to the first down and pick it up. That'll get Washington to about midfield. Here's a handoff for Gibson. That's not going to go anywhere. Swallowed up by this Atlanta defense. And now it's third and ten. Atlanta looks to bring pressure. They're back off. Fitzpatrick, four-man rush. Rolls out to his right. Has a man deep downfield. And he, for some reason, steps out of bounds before catching the football. So a very big missed opportunity there for Washington. Bad field awareness by the receiver. Thankfully, Tressway does kick a sensational punt. Puts Atlanta at their own five-yard line. So they'll have to go 95 yards for a touchdown. Here's a quick catch and run on first and 10. That'll pick up the first down. Ryan over 300 yards so far this game already. He's been passing sensational, and there's another one to Kyle Pitts, who has been a threat to cross the middle quite frequently. Second and two handoff to Davis. That one is stuffed. Nice play by Payne to bring him down after one. And now on third and one, it's an empty bootleg, but a man is not fooled. That is going to be Matthew Ioannidis goes and brings Ryan down for his second sack. And that'll force the Atlanta punts, Washington's fourth sack of the day. First and 10, though, Washington offense starting to sputter. And here is Gibson, who has not been able to replicate that first half running attack. Now third and 12, Fitzpatrick in the pocket just tries to check it down. That was a terrible pass. Fitzpatrick, again, lucky he didn't get picked off. And Washington's offense continues to sputter. So Atlanta has the ball at about midfield. This is a very awkward-looking pass to Davis in the flats. He goes nowhere. Third and 10 for Atlanta. Washington's defense trying to hold them here. Ryan tries to throw it right side. Actually just air mails it out of bounds. And both defense stepping up here in the second half as we get into the final quarter of play. Washington down by one. And Fitzpatrick's going to go down himself. Dante Fowler gets credited with the half sack as he is the man who brought Fitzpatrick down. Now second and 15. Fitzpatrick takes a deep drop. And he's going to be go down again. He's actually stripped. Charles Leno picks it up in the end zone, can't get out, and that's a safety. Atlanta gets two points off of the strip sack fumble. Fowler brings down Leno in the end zone, and now Atlanta with a three-point lead, and they're going to get the ball. Cordell Patterson fields this one at the 15-yard line. Nobody blocks for him, can't even get to the 25. But that is a very big play for Atlanta as they... Get the ball again is now on second and 10. This is a broken tackle, and there's a man running freely down the right side. Can they get to him? They do, but not until the 15-yard line. Just a simple slant with a simple broken tackle, and Sharp gets it to the 15. So now first and 10 from the 15 is Atlanta with another scoring opportunity, and they had it there, but Patterson dropped it. Oh, man, that would have been a dagger for Atlanta. But instead, it's now second and 10. They're going to go to that same almost exact play, just shorter. And Kyle Pitts this time will catch it and get it third and inches. Washington needs a stop here. Ryan checks it down to Davis, who gets the first down yardage. Goal to go now from the three. Ryan, 422 passing yards in this game. And off to Davis, goal to go. He gets nowhere. Wrapped up in the backfield by Davis. Now they're going to go empty. It's a pass play. Ryan looks left side, has Ridley for a touchdown, his second receiving touchdown of the season. And Atlanta will extend their lead now 26-16. This stadium is rocking. Washington needs to put together an offensive drive here. They've done nothing in the second half. Fitzpatrick across the middle, tried to get it to Brown. That one is broken up last second. And now it's second and 10. Man coverage, it looks like, for Atlanta. They're going to bring pressure off of the right side. They counter with a screen to Gibson. A nice play called by Washington as Gibson actually gets sprung free. Nice patience to get to the 46. Nice way to calm down this crowd. Just get Fitzpatrick into a simple rhythm. So now first and 10 at the 46. Fitzpatrick looking to throw again. He is hit as he throws. Seals Jones does catch it, but he actually goes backwards. That's a loss of one. Third and inches now in the strong eye. Motion across the left side. Peterson, the deep back. He gets the handoff, and he will get the yardage. Adrian Peterson moves the chains. So now out into Atlanta territory. Eight minutes left to go in this game. Fitzpatrick throws on first and ten, finds Humphreys. That's a gain of six. Trying to find a rhythm for Fitzpatrick. Motion man across. They're going to hand it to Peterson, who gets about two here, making it third and two. Bunch to Fitzpatrick's right, five men in the pattern. 
Fitzpatrick going to look across the middle. There is Terry McLaurin wide open. Gets the yardage, gets about eight, and keeps the drive alive. Creeping up on the six-minute mark. Here's a four-man pressure from Atlanta. Fitzpatrick takes a shot left side. That one is broken up on the pylon. Second and ten now. Fitzpatrick going to throw for it again. Deep drop. Lobs it right side for McLaurin. That's a gain of five. Now third and four. Nobody in the backfield. Fitzpatrick dumps it off right side for Humphreys. That's not going to pick up the first down yardage. And on fourth and two, what is Washington going to do? They're going to kick the points. Riverboat Ron not going to take a gamble this time. They're just going to make it a one possession game and look for a stop. As Atlanta has 541 left on the clock. However, the problem is Ryan has looked automatic here in the second half. There is a seven yard connection to Gage. Second and three now from the 32. Patterson in the backfield is a play fake to him. Ryan's going to throw for it again. He's going to take a deep shot. Safety got beat again, and it connects for Pitts for a score. 68 yard touchdown for Atlanta. Landon Collins gets beat deep again. And Atlanta, just like that, extends the lead again. Now a 14 point lead for the Falcons with less than five minutes to go. This one's looking dire for Washington. We get to the two minute warning here. And they are driving, but they need a touchdown. And they need to get the ball back and get another touchdown. Second and seven, Fitzpatrick rolls to his right. Nobody on that side of the field. He's actually just going to take a sack. Is what that one gets credited for. Maybe a loss of one. But it's now third and seven. Stadium is rocking once more. Fitzpatrick looking to throw for the first down, but he gets pressured and is sacked by Grady Jarrett. A huge sack by the former Clemson Tiger makes it fourth and 17. Washington going to have to get a deep pass. Instead, it's not even going to be a pass. Grady Jarrett with another sack. Ball is fumbled, picked up, but unfortunately, it doesn't matter. It was fourth down. Washington does lose this one 33-19. Atlanta with a incredible second half on offense takes the lead and looks no does not look back excuse me they get their second win of the season and Washington gets their second loss of the season take a look at the stats here 452 passing yards for Atlanta they only have 35 rushing but it did not matter as Ryan looks like the old Matt Ryan the one you haven't seen the past couple years he's found that fountain of youth in this game and just cooked us you could tell it's just beat us deep too many times. The pass defense just did not look good in this ball game. I thought the run defense played well, obviously with 35 yards. But the offense just sputtered in the second half. Just couldn't get anything going. Fitzpatrick just kept getting sacked. The offensive line did not hold up. Scherf actually left before that fourth down drive. And even though Holcomb gets a tackle for a loss in the score sheet, he actually doesn't get the breakout opportunity. So I guess he technically did get that half sack. So Holcomb... Doesn't move on to star dev. And if the game said he didn't move up to star dev, I'm just going to keep him at normal dev. Here are the scores around the league in week four. We see on Thursday night, Jacksonville beats Cincinnati 28-24 in the battle of former number one overall picks. Trevor Lawrence gets the better of Burrow in this one. He ran for a touchdown, passed for a touchdown, and the Jaguars will beat Cincinnati on Thursday night. On Sunday Night Football, the Patriots and Tom Brady's return to New England win 26-20. Brady did throw for two touchdowns, but it was Mac Jones and Bill Belichick who gets the last laugh in this one. Considered an upset victory, definitely, as Patriots beat the Buccaneers. And then on Monday Night Football, the Chargers beat the Raiders 31-13 out west. Justin Herbert, the reigning rookie of the year with two scores. Eckler, two scores on the ground as the Chargers will get the win here. And with the Raiders in real life, with everything happening with Gruden, I have replaced the Raiders. I don't know if it's this episode or the next one, but Gus Bradley is now the head coach out in Las Vegas. Here are your players of the week. Justin Fields gets NFC offensive with six, yes, six passing touchdowns in the Bears win. Jackson, Merciless, and Jarrett with his three sacks all also get players of the week. Next episode of the 2-2 two two Washington football team return home to face the 3-1 New Orleans Saints. Obviously, no Drew Brees anymore in New Orleans, but this is still a very scary squad with Michael Thomas, Alvin Kamara. Got a very good offensive line, arguably the best offensive line in football. And on defense, we struggled with Grady Jarrett today. We're going to have to face Cam Jordan. 
Demario Davis anchors that second level in the secondary. You do have Marshawn Lattimore and company out there. So this is not going to be an easy one at all. Will Lutz is hurt. Very interesting. But it is Jameis Winston's turn now in New Orleans. He gets a second lease on life. And we'll get a look at him next episode. But Alvin Kamara is the guy I'm worried about out of the backfield. you got to watch out for him in the run game and in the pass game, along with Michael Thomas. Obviously, Michael Thomas did not play that much last year, but he's still an elite receiver. Well, a hands full with him. And then, of course, on the offensive line, bookended by the best tackle tandem in the league, Ryan Ramchick's on that right side. On the left side, Teron Armstead. Going to have to look for pressure up the middle if we're going to have to find it. Cam Jordan also in the defensive game. Grady Jarrett destroyed us, so hopefully we can uh, stop Cam Jordan. And Demario Davis, the linebacker, who can do it all. So, cannot throw a lot of crosses over the middle against him. In the secondary, there is Marshawn Lattimore. Not a superstar, but a very strong young corner who will be hard to throw against. So, that will be next episode. Hopefully, we can rebound at home. And we also have a breakout player challenge. I wonder who it'll be. Leave your comments down below who you think is going to break out. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe down below. Next episode will just be a quick recap. And I'll show you the first look at this draft class and the quarterbacks. Because we need a quarterback. This is Mr. Rob. And I'll see you in the next one.